Hey there, folks. I'm Joshua Oro, the Mustang Prince. And welcome to Mustang Prince Oral Reports. Now, today I'm going to discuss something a little different. The subject for today's blog is an old Walt Disney short. Now, Walt Disney has made great shorts during the old days of his animation career. Some may have starred his famous characters like Mickey Mouse and his gang, while a few others told definite stories. And they would also have memorable songs in them, too. Some of the most memorable shorts got to be in such classic films like Melody Time, Fun and Fancy Free, or Make My Music. But the short I'll be taking a look at today is what I like to call an absolute childhood favorite of mine. Released on November 6, 1956, the short is A Cowboy Needs a Horse. So, let's get started, shall we? A young boy named Johnny dreams of life as a cowboy, mending fences, fighting off Indians, and riding, riding along. The story starts in a split-level ranch house, ultra-modern, and then goes to a west that is likewise rendered in the most modernistic flat art style. So, what do I think of this short, anyway? Well... It was really good, but I have a little confession to make. You see, when I was a kid, I didn't actually watch the short. I was actually first introduced to it by watching one of the Disney sing-along VHSs. And, and it wasn't until the mid-90s when I actually saw it on the Disney Channel. But still, after seeing it during that time, and being able to watch it on YouTube more often nowadays makes me love the short even more. I also enjoy the song, too. But let's move on to Mustang Notes, and I'll tell you some information of why I like it. Now, the short was directed by Bill Justice, written by Dick Kenny and Roy Williams, and it was also animated by Cliff Norbert, Al Cole, Jack Parr, and Fred Helmick. The song's words and music was by Paul Mason Howard and Billy Mills. Speaking of which, I like how the song plays. It goes and starts, it's like mostly in a calm melody. My favorite part is when the singers go, ooh wee, ooh wee. Now, I also like how the animation is in this short. I know I did say that it had a flat art style, not surprised that this was the 50s, but still, it almost made me think of something that you'd see in a 1930s magazine, kinda. Also, some of the characters look like they came from other Disney films that were made before or after this short. For example, the Indians look like they came from Disney's Peter Pan, and the bandits in this film are pretty similar to the guy who Thunderbolt chases in 101 Dalmatians. What's also interesting is the appearance of a pencil, which draws out Johnny's hat, rope, boots, spurs, and of course, his musical notes that represents his song. And I also like how in the beginning, when Johnny's bed rocks back and forth and turns into a horse, which looks like it was drawn by a first grader, in a way. Now, let's, now that I'm done with Mustang Notes, let's talk about Johnny. Now, since Johnny is dreaming of being a cowboy in this short, he seems pretty brave, tough, and smart. Not only does he use a rope, but he also uses a pair of guns. Now, some folks might find that dangerous, but this, since this short is a little boy's dream, I think I can let that slide. Also, I find it interesting how Johnny makes friends with the Indian chief by blowing bubbles from a pipe. And also by saving a train by using himself as a substitute for part of the track that, that got blown up by dynamite. Also, after catching a bandit, Johnny doesn't accept any reward money from the stagecoach driver, nor does he accept a kiss from a girl. 
that he rescued from, from an outlaw. But he does make up for that by giving her a ride back home. Also, fun fact. I know it wasn't shown in this short, but in the Disney sing-along video, it was said that Johnny uses a kitchen sink to pan for gold, and uses a pop gun to shoot some of his toys, pretending them to be buffaloes. And now it's time to move on to my final words. Overall, A Cowboy Needs a Horse is a decent short to come from Disney. While the short is a little boy's dream, its animation is still classic, and the stuff that well, the stuff involved, like the, from the Indians and the Bandits, are really nostalgic. But with all that said, the best part of this short is the song that plays out. If any of you want to see this short for yourselves, look no further than YouTube. Or, if you like, you might be able to find it on the Walt Disney Treasury DVD collection. As for my final rating, hmm, you know what? I'll give it a full 100%, because there's hardly a bad thing in this short, and every moment of it was pure childhood joy. Well, that's it for today, gang. Be sure to join me next time as I take a look at another classic Walt Dow story. Mustang Power. Fancy boots sings a western song. Rope -o -o and a horse if he wants to keep riding.